I thought we'd dye one more lot of silk with the acid dyes. These will need heat setting. The other thing I was going to say is silk actually um, takes a bit more dye to get the same amount, same depth of colour as fibres like wool or um, alpaca. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Now, where were we? We were talking about silk and the fact that you need a bit more dye to get the same effect, same depth of shade than you do with fibres like uh, prote other protein fibres like um, alpaca and wool, particularly wool, but alpaca as well. So, okay, so this is, these are the acid dyes. There will be a bit of blending here. I might just make each one a bit further so that I don't allow for the fact that they're going to blend into each other. We have a purpley colour. Wipe my hands in between. And then I will heat set these for half an hour or 40 minutes actually, because they need their acid dyes and they need heat setting. is supposed to be I'm missing my yellow I'd have to go and fetch the yellow nice bright colors okay I'll be right back I'll be gonna go and get the yellow right so I'm back with the yellow I left it on my other bench Yellow and orange always look so cool together. A bit like a flame, don't they? And then on this end, I'm going to put a bit more chartreuse. So as you can see, even though we had this soaking for three days, this silk, it's still in places has dry. The, the dye hasn't soaked in very well. But you can see there's a few spots there that the dye hasn't really soaked in. So it takes a lot of wetting up to um, get the dye to soak in there very well. We don't want to make too much. We just make a pool of brown underneath, won't we? Okay. Right, we'll squish it together. And I might actually wipe off the excess that we make it a dodgy colour. Wrap it up. And then I'll put it into steam for 40 minutes. And then I'll come back tomorrow and show you, I won't do it on the bottom because as you can see it's basically soaked through. I'll be back tomorrow to show you what it looks like once it's all rinsed out and um, set. Okay, so we're back to have a look at the finished silk after dyeing it and um, this is how we laid it out when we put the dye on. It's nice and soft as you can see. The dye's taken pretty well and it's now it's ready to be spun or felted or whatever you want to do with it 
um, to, to keep this stored away, sometimes I put it into just a, um, a bag or a tub and you can do the same with this though. You can actually braid it, but it makes a reasonably skinny braid. But you know, up to you how you store your fibre once you've dyed it. Okay, so, okay, thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed this video.